It feels to me like, at least for the moment, mm -hmm. you chose fame over fatherhood. I think your priorities change when you have a son, when you have a daughter, and what happens is that you could have created the same opportunities if you really wanted to, yeah. wherever you were, closer to your son. Doesn't mean that you have to be in a relationship with her. How do it you means you're in a relationship a child with your 2,000 yeah. miles away by FaceTiming? No. Uh, you know, think no. about it. It's just, there's gonna be, there's gonna be, there's gonna be, there's gonna be, there's gonna be a, I just think there's going to be a negative impact on your son. What you're sacrificing right now is not yourself. You're sacrificing your son. Right. I don't Listen agree. to me. Listen to me. Hmm? I disagree. Okay. I disagree with you. I, I think you are rationalizing. I think you're rationalizing your decision to move away and saying, I am moving away to do better things for my son. But I want you to be man up with me here. You're, you moved away to chase your own personal dream, which is to become a famous fitness model. Yes? Not well, saying instead of, I'm just asking, is that... Well, not 100%, not because but, whenever we were together, that was all I wanted, and I never thought that we'd split up. And I to actually see that happen... I don't get why you're connecting the marriage... Or was it a marriage? No, it wasn't a marriage. So I don't get why you're connecting the relationship with your parent, your role as a father. Do you understand? Yeah. It I'm does... I'm, I'm, just, I'm not trying to beat you up, brother. No, I I'm promise sure. you I'm not. I'm just talking to you dad to dad. And I'm saying it feels to me like, at least for the moment, mm -hmm. you chose fame over fatherhood. And if your girlfriend called you today and said, I'm totally sorry, you can FaceTime him every day, would that make you happy? Yes. That is not a relationship with a father and a son. That is what you do with friends from old high school. Thank you. You're, you Absolutely, every, I agree every with that. night he's going to bed and you're not tucking him in. Every morning he's waking up and having Lucky Charms and you're not eating it next to him. I had Lucky Charms this morning with my six year old. Mm -hmm. The Tooth Fairy's on his way. He was with Santa a few weeks back. All of that's happening and none of that happens on FaceTime, friend. I'm telling you, at but, some point you're going to look back and miss all of You're missing it. You're missing it. But Terenzo, I also want to say that everybody has to find their own way. And there isn't one way, not only to achieve a career, but it's also not only one way to fatherhood. And you need to figure out where your priorities are. And whatever they are, it's okay. You should own them. I know that you're feeling regret right now because you didn't have a relationship with your father mm -hmm. and you don't want to repeat that cycle. So you have to figure out what this means. I believe that sometimes you do have to move for opportunities. There's certain jobs that you do have to move yeah. for. But if this is a temporary move and you have a long-term strategy to be more connected to your son, then I think that that could be an okay compromise. I'm afraid that what's going on right now is that you are associating your bad relationship with your ex with your son. So you don't want to connect too closely because she's always part of the picture. But you made a child together and right. you have to find some way to allow her in your life and at the same time make sure that your son is the focus for both of you.